welcome back to my channel, I'm Country Wood Girl and I'm going to be making a resin chopping board today or I'm going to be attempting to so I've got this piece of elm it's wany edge so it's got the bark left on and it's uh, wobbly and I'm going to grind the bark off I have started there so that's kind of what I'm wanting and this is what it's like at the minute so I'm just going to be using a wire brush to get rid of this bark so it goes more like this and then I'm going to cut somewhere along this line, cut it in half, turn one piece round. It'll be fair small chopping board, um, but I think for a first attempt it's probably better to go smaller than bigger because you'll be wasting resin if it doesn't work. And resin's quite expensive, so that's my plan, to start with something small and if it works, go for something bigger. I know there's loads of videos on YouTube where it looks dead easy, but... YouTube doesn't show the mistakes and things going wrong, so whatever happens, this video will be going up, whether it goes wrong and is a fail, I'm still going to post it because I think it's good for people to see it's not all happy and everything goes perfect. Sometimes it does fail and sometimes it does go wrong, but that's how you learn, so it's good. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Please stick around and watch the video. If you're like me, go check out my other videos because there's quite a few out there now. And... Uh, Subscribe and um, enjoy!
Okay, so it's the next day because it got a bit late last night, but I have got the um, mould ready with the wood in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up just a little bit of clear, clear resin and I'm just going to seal this bark because um, if you don't, what can happen is uh, you get a lot of air bubbles in your resin and you think you've got rid of them all and you come back and there's some more air bubbles and that's because the air comes from the wood because wood is porous. Um, so it's a really good idea to try and seal that now. Um, so yeah, let's get on with that. So that's it sealed now, um, well it's wet so we're going to have to let that go off and what I actually decided to do was when I was putting the resin on I was making it run underneath the wood a little bit and because it wasn't sitting quite flat it, it's like gone under so now I've put some cramps on which should push the wood right down hopefully it will kind of make a bit more of a seal around the wood underneath um, I'm not too sure I trust this jig thing that I've made I do think it's going to leak because after like previous experiences, resin's going to leak, it will leak. If it will find a hole, it will find the hole. And so, because this is my first time, I feel like I've maybe rushed it, maybe just not quite taken as much care on it. But this is like one of my ideas that hopefully should prevent it leaking, but we'll soon see whether it leaks or not. So we'll let that go off and then we'll, we'll um, pour the actual river resin bit which should be quite fun to do so yeah please stick around and carry on watching So that's the um, resin poured and all we've got to do now is wait and fingers crossed everyone that that stays in the mould and doesn't end up on the floor. Fingers crossed.
So that's the uh, shopping bar done. I'm really happy with how this has come out. It actually looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm holding it with paper towel because I've actually just oiled it and it will need a few more coats. And it's a food safe uh, oil that I'm using called Osmo. Osmo or Osmo, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, it's turned out really good and I'm really happy with it. The uh, resin looks very cool. There is a few air bubbles as you can see, but I'm happy with that as a first attempt. And I routed in some little handles as you've seen on the video. I think they work really well. Um, the, my other option was to actually buy some like uh, metal ones that stick out and come back in, but I kind of wanted to get it done today, so... Yeah, and the back's just as polished as the front, which I quite like, because you often see people polish the front and not the back, and that really annoys me, because it's like, I don't know, it takes, what, another 10 minutes to polish the back, so I'd just do it while you could. It's a bit of like an unfinished product where, where you've got both sides to it. looks really good. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back with you soon for another video, so stay tuned!